Alright, my car is in pieces right now, but you should be able to get the basic concept from this. Alright, so if you want to flush your cooling system, meaning you don't need to completely drain it, but you, maybe you want to put uh, some radiator flush into the system and run it through it, or maybe you just want to grab a hose and flush it with some fresh water or distilled water, whatever you want to use, take the overflow tank cap off, pop your hose right into the top, the fill, disconnect the return, the overflow return line, and then go into the, well, you want to put this into a bucket, because it's, it's an overflow tube, but a very high volume of fluid is going to come through this tube, and that's what's going to allow you to flush the system. So you disconnect this overflow tube and put it into a bucket. If you want to reuse the fluid, you could put it into a fresh clean one or into an oil pan, whatever you want to do. Uh, to capture that coolant because it's going to go everywhere if you don't. Put this into a bucket. Put your hose into the overflow or bottle distilled water or whatever you want to do. And then go around to the car and run the electronic water pump bleed procedure. Now, how do you do that? Uh, there's plenty of tutorials on this, but basically you put the key in, turn the car to the on position, and then you're going to put the heat up to 84, max, all the way up. You don't actually have to have the blower on. And then hold the gas pedal down for 10 seconds. That's all you got to do. And then you'll hear the electronic water pump kick on. The car doesn't have to be running. And that that this procedure will cycle the pump. It's, it's really to bleed air from the system. But in this case, what we're going to do is use it to force fluid through the system. And um, the pump will cycle on and off for about 10 minutes. All right, so just to note, you're probably going to want to put your car on a charger for this because the water pump will draw about 30 amps. You can see my coolant light is on because I don't have a coolant reservoir attached to the car right now. But uh, connect your car to a battery charger because the water pump does draw about 30 amps and you will kill your battery quickly doing this, especially if you're going to do uh, two or three cycles to try to flush your system and refill it. Um, you're definitely going to want your battery on a charger. Uh, 30 amp or 40 amp setting. Uh, 10 amps is not enough. Um, these these cars do have pretty big batteries though, so you should be good for you know at least 30, 45 minutes, and still be able to start the car. Um, but if you have an older, or weaker battery, it may not make it. And that's about it. Maybe later I'll make a better tutorial with actual fluids and um, when my car is back together. But for now, that's that's really all you need to know. If you now, after you've flushed it. Um, you've you've swapped out all the old fluid, and now your radiator is full of you know your whole cooling system is full of fresh water or distilled water. You need to get coolant back in there. Um, you can't just keep running the bleed procedure because it only only so much fluid is going to come out. What you're going to need to do to get all the water out is to go under the car and disconnect the coolant hose at the water pump. And that is relatively easy to get to from under the car. Um, I'm not going to crawl under there right now, but you can see right up in here is the clamp that will release that U-shaped coolant hose. Now, this is the lowest point in the cooling system. By disconnecting that hose, um, pretty much every bit of coolant or water, whatever is in your system, is going to drain out. Um, you don't have to mess with the drain plug or anything like that. So... Flush the system with clean fluid. Completely drain the system when you're done doing that from this hose. And then you can go back up top. Refill your system with fresh coolant or whatever you want to put in there. Water and water wetter. Um, that's what I run in the summer. But right now I'm running 50-50 uh, mix. Uh, refill your system and then go back in the car again. Run the bleed procedure and bleed all those air bubbles out and then you're good to go.